Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Um, this is going to be a continuation video from the lighter video that I just did, which was a PSA stating that I'm going to be bringing lighters to the channel, you know, giving you more information on them, giving the pros and cons, and all that fun jazz. Um, this was featured in that video. This is a VVAY lighter, it is a flint wheel jet lighter. You can see the flint sparking there. Um, <clears throat> the flint wheel on this can be removed. Um, one of the cool features about it, let me just, there we go, is this, is that it can be removed. <clears throat> and you can replace the flints pretty easily, just like you can with this lighter, which is like a, it's a swan lighter, but it's exactly like a clipper. Same, you know, little removable flint wheel thing there. <clears throat> Unlike that clipper lighter though, this is a jet flame lighter and has a really unique feature I like, which is you turn the lighter on by this large wheel here. And there we go. As you can see, you can see the little blue jet flame there. If I put my power bank behind it here you will be able to see the flame a little bit better yeah, another good feature about this is you can leave that still there and leave it on so to do your business if you're putting paracord in if you're lighting a cigar which that's what these type of lighters are meant for another amazing feature about this is that you can turn it up and down here with you know not more than your little tiny screwdriver. This way it turns it up, this way it turns it down. You can disassemble this lighter, but I would not recommend it. So what is there to say about this? Um, pro, definitely big pro for me is the slimness of this lighter, if you can see there. It's no thicker than my thumb. All right, let's put it against the edge of a Zippo, I'm going to zoom in, well, I'm not zooming in, I'm bringing it closer to you so you can see. You can see it's just a tiny bit thicker than your typical Zippo lighter. It's longer as well, but I do like this about this lighter. As I, as I said, it's a jet lighter. I prefer jet lighters if you're going outside to smoke. Or anything and it's really windy because unlike your traditional lighter like this um, so I, there we go technical difficulties sorry for the technical difficulties no I turned that one all the way off I think there we go there we go See, unlike this lighter, see I've just blown that out, where would this one, you might be able to hear, I've tried to blow it out, nothing, that's what I enjoy about these, is they're basically windproof, unlike uh, your traditional zippos which claim to be windproof, which to me, they're not really that windproof, one of these is way better. Um, having this here means that I can keep it on this um, wheel that turns it on and off unlike most uh, jet lighters which you have to keep a hold of which ties out your thumb and everything this you can just turn on leave it standing do your business be sorted <clears throat> One of the downsides to this lighter is also the fact that you can leave it on because if you forget that you've left this lighter on and place it anywhere, the flame will stay on and could possibly ignite your bed or ignite your desk or ignite something. That whilst it's laying up. That's a downside, but it's also an upside, so it depends how you look at it. 
If you're truly forgetful like me, it's a downside. If you're not, it's an upside. One of the key points I like to point out about lighters, which is one of the reasons I keep them, is they're vastly useful. It isn't just for, you know, lighting a cigarette and being like, oh, sorted. I don't smoke anymore. I am a, I'm currently a vapor. I only use these type of lighters for cigars when I'm in the house. I use them on my everyday carry for if, um, let's say, a shoelace becomes frayed, I can just light it, pinch it, sort it. In a, in a hoodie, that is a very useful item to have. Same with if they're, it happens to any of your friends or if any of your friends smoke, it's always useful to have a lighter on you. As I know from when my friends, is, some of my friends still smoke, so as I know, having the light on me, very useful to just be that guy that goes, hey mate, I got you, sort of, and the light, eh? fine. Yeah. Also, if you're in an emergency situation and it's really dark out, having a lighter is really good because if you get stranded, Maybe not in the UK, but maybe out for you as American folks if you get stranded out in the wilderness. Have one of these, set a quick fire, ready to go. Also, even if the lighter doesn't have any gas in it, having this flint wheel means you can spark up some tinder, set a fire. Um, I keep a dedicated flint wheel on my keys. Which is this here, you know, just in case of any situations like that. But in a pinch, this will do as well, even without gas. Um, it's a very inexpensive lighter. I'd call this a mid range lighter, You're looking roughly 10 British pounds, single jet lighter like this. Uh, they make all different types of jet lighters, you know, from your slide up clickers, you know, all the fancy type for cigars. But when push comes to shove, uh, I'd pay my survival in a situation, you know, where I have to have a fire on this. Because she's not going to fail. Yeah, compared to, to this, which, weirdly enough, uh, I've had... The, electric, the electronic mechanism on one of these fail, which is the reason I don't really carry one of these outside the house. I've had these blow out on me, and when get wet, they don't really light up that well. That's one of the key benefits of having this. I'd highly recommend it to anyone that EDCs a lighter to have one of these on you, because... When push comes to Zippo, Zippo is an, an amazing lighter, but unless you have the jet flame conversion in it, I wouldn't trust it, to be fair. Um, if you have any suggestions, any tips, any then you want to hear more about this lighter, please put it in the description. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you don't like this video, I would much appreciate it. If you say why in the comment section so I can make these videos better for everyone. Uh, thanks everyone. Bye bye.